Okay, well let's start by opening up the top and bottom terminal covers. They are hinged and they just snap open. And once you uh, get them open, you can see each terminal is labeled. We'll start at the bottom. So let's go ahead and zoom in. And on the bottom left, you can see that this is where you provide power to your Micrologix PLC. And here, because I have an AC unit, you can see it's labeled L1, L2, and Earth Ground. Now, to the right of that, we have our first set of outputs. And you notice that they're labeled O, slash, and then a number, starting at zero. And these are, in my case, relay outputs. And you'll notice that each output has its own power terminal. So these are isolated outputs, meaning that output zero could be a different voltage source than output one, because they're totally isolated relay circuits. And as we look at the rest of the outputs, we'll notice that they're all isolated. So each one of the four outputs on this model is an isolated relay. Now, let's move to the top terminals and start on the very left-hand side. Here we'll see the Micrologix actually provides us with 24 volt DC power. This power source is often referred to as sensor power because it only supplies about 200 milliamps and that's typically only enough power to drive a few sensors. Next we see the first group of inputs. Each of these first four inputs, I0 through I3, share the same DC comm terminal. What this means is that all four of these inputs are going to have to be connected to the very same power source. Now if you're wiring in hard contacts like push buttons or limit switches, then that's very easy to wire. However, if you're going to be using devices like sensors that have transistor outputs, you'll need to make sure that all four of these wire the same. In other words, all four are either NPN transistors or PNP transistors. And as we look at the final terminals, we'll see that the last two inputs also share a common DC comm. And like the first four, these two inputs will both need to be wired to the same power source. Well, that's it for our tour of the Micrologix wiring terminals. 